This video will show how to collect stack traces using our InfoDump utility. This is focused on using InfoDump to troubleshoot issues in the data quality product in a Linux environment. We will cover when stack traces are needed, the prerequisites to run the utility, how to configure InfoDump, and then give a demo. This version of InfoDump is included in Informatica 10.4 and above. To use it, you should have SSH access to the Informatica server, logged in as a user running the Informatica processes. Additionally, you should have the GDB module installed. Administrator console access is also required. You might need to collect stack traces if you are seeing a performance issue in a DQ mapping or profile. For example, if your mapping was running quickly but is now taking longer than usual, then a stack trace can be helpful. There are some scenarios where you may see a job is hanging indefinitely. Informatica support may ask you to collect stack traces for review. Please note that stack traces must be collected while the issue is occurring. GDB is a Linux debugger module that is used to collect stack trace on a native mapping process. If you are troubleshooting an issue with a mapping performance or hanging job, then you should ensure GDB is installed before running InfoDump. Further use of GDB is outside the scope of this video, but we recommend installing it if it is not already on the server. You should also collect the names of the services that you need to stack trace on. For example, if a mapping is hanging, then you will need stack traces on the node, the MRS, the DIS, and the mapping process. Log into the Informatica admin console and take note of the MRS and DIS names as shown in the screenshot. For the node process, we will refer to it as node in the InfoDump config file. Now that we have the service names, we should edit the config.properties file. In the screenshot, I have added the info home path and also the service names as they are displayed in the admin console. As mentioned before, we use node here instead of the node name. For the mapping process, you must open the mapping log for the job that is hanging and collect the process ID. Steps for this will be shown in the demo. Save and then run InfoDump as shown here. The output is saved to the temp directory by default. For the demo, I have a hanging mapping which I can see in the Admin Console Monitor tab. I will first export the mapping log from the Admin Console and search for the process ID. And I can see here that this workflow is hanging and it is hanging on this mapping process. So I would export the log here. And then in the mapping log, I would search for the process ID. And I can also confirm on the server that that particular process is in fact still running. And at this point, I would edit the config.properties file. And I've already added it here. And I can go ahead and run the InfoDump utility now. And so I have the InfoDump file my info home path, and then the relative path to config.properties. And that will complete uh, after some time. We're going to go ahead and stop it here. Uh, otherwise, you would let it run until it uh, says that it's complete. And the output is put in the temp directory. So I will just check to confirm that that is the case. Okay. 
directory and it was added here. At this point, I would tar the contents and then upload to my uh, GCS case for analysis. In this video, we discussed why stack traces might be needed in data quality troubleshooting. We showed how to find the process names and the mapping PID. We covered steps needed to configure InfoDump and demoed how to run the utility.